How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a 3D printed model from medical scan data. You ready? Let's dive right in. You may remember a few years ago, I made a 3D printed copy of my brain from an MRI scan that I had done. In this video, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on how that process is done and show you how to take a scan of your own and turn it into a 3D printed model. For this project, I'm using an open source software called Invisalius, which allows me to visualize DICOM data, which is the 2D slices that I'm gonna be converting into a 3D model. Using some of the selection tools in the Invisalius software, I'm able to isolate the bone in the scan and create a surface, allowing me to visualize the bone in the software. This process is largely automatic, only requiring me to set a range for the segmentation and creating the surface. Once we've created the surface, you'll notice that we still have some work to do before we isolate the spine. We can use one of the advanced settings in Invisalius called Select Largest Surface, which will allow us to isolate the largest part of the mesh and get rid of all the floating pieces that we need to discard. We'll notice that we still have some ribs attached at this point, which we can manually edit out and clean up in the software. Over the past few years, I've had the opportunity to work on some larger, more industrial 3D printers specifically designed for the medical and healthcare segments. These printers create parts that are used for pre-surgical planning, such as this gummy bear that I dissected and removed a tumor from before sewing it back up. Working with these machines has given me the opportunity to learn more about the DICOM process, which is the same process we're using for our model. At this point, you'll notice that I've gone through and completely filled in all of the dark green areas on the spine. This is to eliminate some of the porosity in our final model. Unlike a true traditional medical prototype, we still want this model to be 3D printable, so it needs to be a manifold mesh. With our model complete, I've imported it into our slicing program, in this case, Prusa Slicer, to be printed out on a Prusa 3D printer. Due to the intricate and organic geometry of this model, it's going to generate quite a bit of support material, which we're going to remove after the printing is complete. With our print preview looking good and our model ready to go, we're gonna send this model to the printer and start printing. Due to the amount of support material used, the printing time for this model was just over 15 hours. With our print complete, it's time to remove it from the printer and begin removing the support material that was printed along with the part. And now you have a 3D printed spine. Pretty cool, right? I'm including a link to all the software I use in this video, as well as a link to my Twitter account. Feel free to reach out and shoot me a message if you have any questions or you're working on the process yourself. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.